Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So yesterday, Sunday night, so the last night of the season, we managed to get a rank 35 Jesse. Now Jesse is one of my favorite brawlers in the game right now due to its new uh, new gadget, almost a new star power. It is super, super, super good. Um, it's just an absolute beast, especially on Siege and Heist. And I just find Jesse to be such a versatile brawler right now and I'm just enjoying playing her. Now we got her to rank 35. We got a few replays for you guys. So we're gonna show you guys some high level Jesse gameplay. We're, we're gonna explain to you guys when to use what gadget and what star power because there actually is a huge difference. All four two, two gadgets and two star powers actually are used in different times times and I think it's the only brawler where all four of them are viable in different places so with that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up all right so hopping into our first game here we're going to be going up against a Poco a B and a Jackie so obviously Jesse is not really the strongest brawler in the game it's not a brawler where you're just going to walk around and just like one shot people or do really well and we're actually facing a comp in B Jackie and Poco which is the exact opposite they're both very are all three of them are very very good and dominant without their supers so it takes a little bit for Jackie to wind up and get good but once you do have that really high level or really you know mid game Jesse where everything is flowing well it goes really 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 well so let me tell you guys about Brawl Ball and what we're using here so we're using the star power for if you hit your turret it's going to regenerate your turret and this personally is my favorite star power and I use it majority of the time although a lot of other pro Jesse's actually prefer the other star power in different scenarios so the gadget I'm using is the stun gadget and the reason I'm using the stun gadget is because you know the speed it doesn't really give you too much of an advantage here my favorite time to use the speed is when we're playing something like siege where we have to defend the bot or do a lot of safe damage which is where that second gadget comes really useful because you're just absolutely melting whatever you're shooting at or in heist if you're trying to melt a safe or if you're trying to have good defense or something like that now both gadgets are very good and very useful literally everywhere in siege the first one is good in Brawl Ball, the second one is good. It's just about which one is better and what your preferred play style is. So personally, I just prefer the first one because I feel like once you get that gadget and once you use the gadget and hit a brawler, plus the addition of your star power of healing your turret, no matter what brawler that is, you're going to be able to finish off that kill or at the very minimum, do like 7k damage and get your next turret back. It's really, really good. So for this game, that's why you're going to be seeing that. So we're going to be playing alongside Phil and Kano, who are just trying to help me out. Unfortunately, I missed that gadget over there. But either way, against their comp, my uh, Jesse turret is really, really good. And as you guys can see, I was healing it. And while using my Jesse turret, which happens a lot of the time, you end up getting your next Jesse turret. So we did kind of waste that because we didn't really need to use it to ensure the goal. But I wanted it since we're playing at like 1234, we're very high up. And we want to be able to get those kills locked in. Connell's going to use that bow gadget uh, mixed with the stun, which is one of the best combinations, by the way, in the game. Um, Phil's going to make a really good play there and move the ball over to Kano. And Kano, I think, gets this one in the net, if I am remembering correctly. I think so he is. Okay, so he's going to be able to. But we have a lot more about Jesse to talk about. So let's hop over into that next game and continue telling you guys about Jesse. Okay, so for this game, we're going to be showing you guys my gameplay just as Jesse and following me around. And show you guys kind of what we do so at this point you're trying to like kind of stay back now the start is always really difficult especially with our comp with surge bow and jesse being the comp it's literally brawlers that you need to have your supers in order for them to be effectful or effective effectful isn't a word don't listen to my english but anyways we're able to get those kill our, our supers over there so you guys can see uh phil is able to become level two i have my turn i'm able to get another one over there um, I'm going to be throwing that turret up and stunning that Sandy and the Sandy isn't going to be able to do anything. And then again, I have just a turret on the map, which at all times is just a constant threat. For example, Poco would have to hit it four times without me consistently healing it. And Frank would have to hit it three times without me healing it. So even when they're shooting at it, it takes a lot of shots. They're going to be soaking a lot of damage if I'm just standing there healing the turret, which also hits them. And it's just a really good combination. So you guys are going to see Kano's going to be able to get that kill over there with his stun mines. He's gonna break the walls. I probably could have walked that in. I don't know why I didn't at the time, but it's not really too big of a deal since we do have a level four Phil over here just walking around wrecking havoc. And you know, Kano has mines. We're deep into the game. So Jesse and Bo become useful. Things are looking really well for us right now. Um, so we're just doing a good job. These guys are kind of spawn trapped at this point. And I'm just trying to hit a couple shots because once I hit one, when they're all clustered together, it's as if I'm hitting three shots because they're all just bouncing off each other because Jesse does have that really good value when people are spawn trapped or stuck together. So again, all three of us have super, so it's looking really good. I thought Kano was going to get that stun over there. If Kano hit the stun on the Poco, he was the only one defending. I would have been able to have a really easy kill. 
Um, but it doesn't matter because we do have really good defense. Kano's doing a really fantastic job holding off in mid. And Phil is almost level 4. And once Phil is level 4, you know, it's basically game over. He's able to get level 4 right there. I'm able to kill the Sandy. I'm just trying to hit a few shots in order to get my super. The Poco heal is going to help them out a ton. And this game is actually going pretty well. It's a pretty even game so far. I'm going to get my stun over there on Frank. And Frank actually hits me twice. And he's hitting me and the turret at the same time. But he's also standing in front of my turret. So I think he did that by accident. But that was like the most pro play I've ever seen on ladder. He just completely minimized how much damage and how useful I am with that turret over there which is pretty crazy but he is gonna get that stun but when you do stun when there's a wide open net you know you can't really move and that's gonna be it for the second game gonna be a really easy goal remember effect full isn't a word effective is um but again really good gameplay some replays didn't save which is kind of unfortunate but let's hop into our next game we're getting very close to that rank 35 rango 35 so let's hop into the next game and show you guys what's up Okay, so here we go into our next game. Again, a really good comp, like right off the bat, that doesn't really need super in Frank, Poco, and Carl. And I think they're going to score again right off the bat, if I do remember correctly. I'm not sure. I remember a lot of these games, they scored straight away. So there is a Carl over here. I'm just going to put my turret down. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be able to grab any kills, uh, but it doesn't really matter. As you know, if there's a turret there, they're at least going to be shooting at the turret, which is going to expose them. You're going to know where they are. They're not going to have any ammo, and it's very easy just to get your super right back. As you guys can see, I got it back within like 10 seconds, so it's looking pretty good. At this point, I'm just trying to find a position where I can throw my turret, stun them, and do a really good amount of damage. So I'm going to try and do that with the Carl over there, except he does a really fantastic job at taking out my turret straight away. I probably shouldn't have used my turret right over there uh, when the Carl was against the wall, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. So Carl does get baited by his Poco teammate, which kind of sucks. Uh, but the game is going pretty well for us so far. I'm going to use my turret right on this Frank over here. And they're doing a great job as a team of taking it out. But we're able to basically get that team wipe over there from firing literally two shots at our turret. Not even at them because that's just how good Jesse is right now. Even though she's not a top 10 brawler. If you know how to use her correctly, she is really, really good. Uh, but we're doing a really good job over here. Phil level 4. Connor with the two stuns. I got turret. Everything's going well. We're going to be able to put the ball in the net. It's going to be the one to nothing lead for us a minute and a half into the game. So things are going really well. And we have turret fills level two. I try and walk up and just like hit like a little trick shot thing over there. I might have been able to score to the right, but I thought the Poco was going to end up moving to the right. So we ended up shooting to the left. Not able to score, unfortunately. And now they have really good positioning over here. So I'm going to put my turret out to try and just help me out. I'm going to stun all of them, which is really good. I get a lot of value over there. I think we could have stopped it if Poco didn't have that heal, but unfortunately Poco had the heal, so they're able to get the goal. Either way, I have my turret back. Kano has mines, Phil has super, so things are looking really good for us right now. Kano does have the mines in the middle. I throw my turret just right at them to do a ton of damage. We do damage, we you know do a lot, and we have my turret back. And now I just aim a trick shot. I'm able to you know actually get it on the goal, but unfortunately Carl just says yo us up. I spawned right here. And he's going to be able to get that save. Either way, we have a really good overtime comp. Plus, Phil just hit level 4 surge. So, the game is already over. Alright, so here we go into the final game. We're going to be going up against Carl, Gene, and Max. And the reason this is the final game is because, of course, the rank 35 game decided not to save. Um, as always, I swear every single time, my rank 35 game just never saves. But anyways, we're facing um, a South American team or a team from Mexico. I'm not exactly sure where these guys are from. I do know they are from the western side of the globe, which is where we are. Um, but we do have a ton of delay. I face these players a ton on ladder. So I know they're on similar servers, just not the exact server that we're on. So it was a little bit tough to play Jesse with delay since Jesse has really slow shots. Plus the delay, it's a little bit hard to hit them. But so far, so good. We're doing pretty well. I'm um, going to be able to hold that mid position right now. Phil's doing a good job. I'm going to throw the turret on them use my gadget and although max is a lot of dps we're able to get the kill over there plus weaken this gene just because of the fact that you know we're able to hit those shots um 
Pocano's gonna get the ball over there. Kind of a panic play by the Max and the Gene to try and, you know, use that pull when there's stuns and all that. They probably should have just conceded the goal and saved their supers. Um, but we're able to get that goal. So a really good start. I'm gonna be tapped over there by the Carl, which is kind of toxic. Phil's making some really good plays over there on Surge. I'm gonna use my gadget to kind of slow them down. And there's not really gonna be much that they can do because I'm just standing here healing my turret. Um, they're gonna be able to take it out, but it costed them a lot of shots. I'm gonna be able to get that save over there. Phil's gonna get that kill. And he's going to move up, use his gadget, and, you know, try and do as well as he can. Um, I'm going to move up again, trying to get my turret. Phil became level 2, so things are looking a little bit better. I'm trying to hit shots with uh, with uh, with delay, even though it's a little bit hard. Um, Kano's... Oh, I thought he was able to get that kill over there. He's not going to be able to. I'm able to hit one shot on Max over there. These guys are really weak. Able to kill the Max. We're going to be able to get that kill over there. Phil is going to super the ball in, and that is going to be game. Now, again, unfortunately, my game did not save for the last one. Um, but as you guys can see by us at the main menu here, we are a rank 35 Jesse. So that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, as always, like, subscribe, do all of that. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace.